Hi everyone and welcome to another drawing video. For this video we are going to draw a ship from Endless Space 2. The creator of this ship in Space Engineer did an amazing job to rebuild this ship in Space Engineers. At first I was actually planning to do a death test on this ship but since it's really big, I think it's over 700 meters long. The game started to lag and the sim dropped to 0.8. So unfortunately, I was not able to test it in death test, but I've decided to do something else with it. So here I am trying to draw this ship on paper. So at first I was going to draw this one the same exact way as the last ship but I decided not to. Instead of measuring having a reference point everywhere and like super accurate, I went with just adding reference point for the borders so that I could get some ideas on what goes where. After that I eyeballed it, the details, eyeballed it, is that even a word? I don't know. And I was having a lot of fun while drawing this ship, listening to music with new Sennheiser headphone that I bought a few days ago. It's like being able to hear again, it's unbelievably amazing. Before that I had a Logitech, the blue ones, but after like 6 years, it finally died. So I was like to buy a professional headphone. Anyway, so as I said on like the last video where I was trying to be really accurate, I decided to just draw and trust my hands to do the job. And I think it turned out good quite good by no means I'm a professional painter no 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 no. I just do it for fun I really like drawing it's just relaxing and while you are busy with the painting you just forget about the life it's like it's just like playing video games I love it and I want this whole series to be an excuse of some sort that I can get closer to the community that we are creating on this channel and of course the more I talk the better I'll get at English talking English by the way, last week I've started playing survival again, especially just Space Engineer Survival. But this time I've decided not to touch any setting and no mods. Completely super vanilla. And I was not expecting too much from it. But man, I've been having a lot of fun with the survival. I think I'm going to release a video and talk about my experience with the survival. Right now I'm I have around 20 hours playtime in that save, so I'm gonna continue playing. Though I have to say, I've started at a space not on the planet. Last time I've played survival, I was on the planet and I wasn't having a lot of fun. But for some reason, being in a space is just more fun. I think I just... I think it's because flying and I love flying. Believe it or not, the first game that I've played was actually a military simulator of some sort. And it was a F-22 lighting. My dad bought my first computer when I was 7. And the first game that I've played was the F-22 lighting. Anyway, I still have to play before being able to do some kind of a review for the survival. And see what it has to offer for new players. And... Of course, the old veteran players.
so I think at the end it turned out quite good. As I've mentioned, I was not really trying to be super accurate with this one, and I think I could have done a better job on the f uh, on the front of the ship where the hangar is located. I think I'm going to fix that part before adding it to my archive. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, one more thing before we leave, let me know if you guys found these videos interesting or not. If not, I can do something else. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Until the next time. Until the next video, fly safe!